That was a nice ride. It dropped me about halfway to my destination. And I gotta get to Khalpan as soon as possible. Muchas gracias. Oh. I tricked myself to a nice torta before I saw the second part of the hitchhike. I go to Khalpan, the Serra now, for another quick stopover, and from there I'll be really close to the waterfall. Oh, it's actually pretty nice here as well. Maybe I'll stay the night here, I'll find a nice place, and go to the waterfalls tomorrow. Turns out they have a super super nice church in Khalpan. Mission de Khalpan, I think that's the name. It looks really really amazing, I have to say. I had no I had no idea about this place at all, so hmm. Maybe I should really stay here. I've seen many churches in, in this trip so far. I'm gonna link some of the videos in the top right corner for you from all the other nice beautiful pueblas uh, villages that I've seen here in Mexico. But this church, I think it's my favorite so far. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I also really like that the square in front of the church is completely empty. There's like nobody selling stuff. So as you can see, I decided to stay here. Um, this was the cheapest place I could find. And uh, you had to call the owner first. Actually, was a really cool guy. The place itself is a little bit run down, you know. You can kind of tell that not too many people come here. But it's really cheap. Uh, I paid 150 pesos now. It's even less than the dorm room from last night. Apparently there's a big lake where people swim, so he told me about that. Uh, I already changed into my, sh into my swimming shorts, so I'll head there before I take a shower. Also I need to get some cold drinks and some dinner, so I'm just gonna take care of all of that. Ah yeah, I really enjoy walking through these uh, non not so touristic places uh, where everyone has like a smile on their face and you say, Buenas tardes. That's the lake, pretty nice actually. Ah, I think I found a nice spot here. There's nobody around. Let's go for a swim. Yay! It was actually pretty nice and refreshing. Pretty clean lake. And you can see my sunburn. I have climbed the two mountains in Guanajuato. Uh, if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll link it in the top right corner. Here. I'm actually really happy that I made this uh, decision to stay here because I had no idea about this lake to be honest and it was so nice and refreshing to swim in here. Yeah, tomorrow I'm probably gonna leave relatively early and then go up into the mountains and finally have my first waterfalls with water this time. <laughs> He casually walked through the room actually, and now he's just chilling out in front of the room. So next morning here in Halpan de Serra, um, it's about 9 a.m. Ready to head out to get into the mountains. I want to go to the uh, Cueva waterfall. I really like this church, so I wanted to do my final video from Halpan here again. At the lift after two minutes, absolutely empty everything here. More than two kilometers walk. So I made it now. I was hoping that it's not a, like a touristic water, but actually they have like a ticket booth and parking spots and stuff. So it's a, and it is a little bit touristic. Um, they also charge 80 pesos, which is relatively high compared to what you usually pay for the attractions here, which is like 20, 25. I don't really know much about this waterfall. Uh, somebody in the hostel told me about it. Uh, water here is crystal clear, by the way. I'll tell you how amazing this waterfall is actually. The water is crystal clear. I was going for a skinny dip and now the sun is coming out. It's just amazing. That was so, so lucky guys. First of all, I was completely alone. As soon as I started my cameras, uh, the sun came out while I was in the water. 
couldn't have been any better. And now there's actually like three, four different groups coming here with a guide. to Mirador de Cuatro Palos. I'm at 2,600 meters now, I think. And from the main road, it's another five kilometers up on this kind of super steep road. It's going uphill a lot here. I don't think there's any car to hitchhike with. <laughs> Probably have to walk two hours back and forth. That will mean I will get down from the mountains quite late. ¿Cómo se llama? El Cerro de la Media Luna. Cerro de la Media Luna. Uh, and up there is the actual viewpoint, but um, I'm super happy just seeing that mountain. That's what I wanted. And on the other side, we have the rain coming in now. So probably it's a good idea to head back again. It's actually perfect because we have the rain clouds coming in now. And I'm doing a time lapse. So that time lapse should be really nice but can't even uh, see the mirador anymore so it's good that i stayed down here i don't know why i'm so lucky guys but i got a ride back down again and just when they dropped me here there's another car stopping asking me about the way and um they were so nice and they were like yeah you can wait here we're going the same direction um so if i don't find a ride here now uh, i know that these guys when they're done with the viewpoint they will come and pick me up <laughs> so guys as you can see i'm still here on the junction um I decided to wait for the guys because I, I forgot to tell you she knew Eric, Eric from the cabin in the woods. Uh, that's absolutely crazy. How small is the world, please, uh, that I run into someone here who knows Eric. Because that place was so remote. If you haven't seen the video yet, check it out in the top right corner. It was a hitchhiking experience that completely changed uh, my plan, pretty much. I ended up in some cabins in the woods, completely off the beaten path, where you need a 4x4 to even get there. Um, yeah, and this guy Eric owns the place, and the person that just offered me a ride to Queretaro knows Eric. So I think that's a really good reason to wait for them, because they offered me to drive them back there. And the sun is out fully. Lunch stop. What are we eating? Gorditas. Um, Gorditas. 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 I'm not sure if I had it before. I eat everything, but I can't remember the names. Thank you so much for sticking around to the very end of this video. I really hope you liked the content and if you did, please consider subscribing using the bell icon as well to make sure you're not missing any of the new content and I would also love to hear about your feedback in the comments.